Let's take a look at how to divide fractions and mix numbers. It takes Alexander two thirds of a week to read one book. If Alexander reads for one and a half weeks, then how many books will he read? Okay, well, if we take how long he's reading, one and a half weeks, and we divide that by how long it takes him to read one book, which is two thirds of a week, that should, be, that should tell us how many books he read. Now the first thing I want to do is I want to convert or change this mixed number into an improper fraction. So to do that, I would say, okay, 1 times 2 is 2, right? That means 2 over 2 is another way to write my 1. And then I still have that 1 half. So that means that 1 and a half is the same thing as saying 3 over 2. So we're going to say 3 over 2 divided by two-thirds. Okay, now the rule when you're dividing a fraction by a fraction is to multiply by the reciprocal. So what that means is I'm going to take the first fraction and leave it this, the way it is, 3 over 2. I'm going to change my division sign to a multiplication sign. And then I'm going to find the reciprocal of the second fraction. Well, the reciprocal is what you get when you flip it, so the top becomes the bottom and the bottom becomes the top. So the reciprocal of 2 thirds would be 3 over 2. Okay, and now that I have a multiplication problem, I'm going to multiply straight across the numerator or top, and I'm going to multiply straight across the denominator or the bottom. So on the top, 3 times 3 gives me 9. And on the bottom, 2 times 2 is 4. OK, now this is an improper fraction, right? Meaning the top is bigger than the, the bottom, or the numerator is bigger than the denominator. So to simplify this, I'm going to say, well, how many times does 4 go into 9? 4 goes into 9 2 times, right? 4 times 2 is 8. So between 9 and 8, there's still 1 left over out of that 4. So I can rewrite this as a mixed number, 2 and 1 fourth. A truck can drive 4 fifths miles with 1 gallon of gas. After driving a fifth of a mile, how much gas did the truck use? Okay, well we want to figure out what fraction of the gallon of gas he used. Right? Notice one-fifth is smaller than four-fifths, right? He drove less than a whole gallon of gas would, would be. So we can divide this and say if he drove for one-fifth of a mile divided by four-fifths, right, divided by how much each gallon of gas would take us, how much gas did he use? Okay, well keep in mind our rule for multiplying with fractions is to multiply by the reciprocal. So that means I'm going to keep my first fraction the same, one-fifth. I'm going to change my division sign to a multiplication sign. And then I'm going to take the reciprocal of my second fraction. Well, the reciprocal of 4 fifths is 5 over 4. And now I can multiply straight across the top and straight across the bottom. So on the top, 1 times 5 gives us 5. On the bottom, 5 times 4 gives us 20. And of course, I can reduce this because 5 goes into both numbers. right? 5 times 1 would give me 5 and 5 times 4 would give me 20. So if I cancel out my factor of 5, this simplifies or reduces to 1 fourth. So he used a fourth of a gallon of gas. It takes Owen half weeks to read one book. If Owen reads for 3 fifths of a week, how many books will he read? Okay, well if we take how long he's reading, three-fifths of a week, and we divide it by how long it takes him to read one book, a 
it takes him a half of a week to read one book, that should tell us how many books he's read. Remember, when you're dividing fractions, you always want to multiply by the reciprocal. Okay, so I'm going to set this up as 3 over 5. I'm going to change my division sign to a multiplication sign. And the reciprocal of 1 half is 2 over 1. Okay, and then we can multiply straight across the numerator and denominator. On the top or the numerator, 3 times 2 gives me 6. And on the bottom or the denominator, 5 times 1 gives me 5. Now this is an improper fraction, so I want to simplify it. 5 goes into 6 one time, right? 5 times 1 would just be 5, so that means we have 1 left over out of the 5. So 1 and 1 fifth of a book. truck can drive a third of a mile with one gallon of gas. After driving three-fifths of a mile, how much gas did the truck use? Okay, so this is similar to the other one. We just have some different numbers in here. So remember, if we say he drove three-fifths of a mile, if we divide that by how much gas he needs for, or how many miles he can drive in one gallon of gas, which is one-third, that should tell us how many gallons he used. Okay, our rule is to multiply by the reciprocal anytime we're trying to divide with fractions. So I'm going to leave 3 fifths the way it is. I'm going to change my division sign to a multiplication sign. And then I'm going to take the reciprocal. The reciprocal of 1 over 3 is 3 over 1. Okay, when we multiply straight across in the numerator or top, 3 times 3 gives us 9. And in the denominator or bottom, 5 times 1 gives us 5. Okay, this is an improper fraction, meaning the numerator or top is bigger, so we want to simplify that. 5 can go into 9 one time, right? 1 times 5 is just 5, so that leaves 4 left over out of our 5. So we can simplify this to 1 and 4 fifths.